What's up, everyone? It's Phoenix here. So, today we're going to be talking about Vox and just the media in general. Going after PewDiePie again. This time, it is for shouting out a channel that apparently has some anti-Semitic comments in it. Or content? I don't know. Um, I've never seen this channel. Never heard of it. Uh, He was just... Simply, he basically, at the end of one of his, you know, Pew News or whatever, uh, he shouted out 28 channels just to give them uh, a bit of spotlight, you know, because he is a bigger channel, you know, he's giving back to the smaller channels, which I think is really good because, you know, it's kind of nice to see a bigger channel, especially one his size, acknowledge the smaller fish, like... That's really amazing. You wouldn't see any other YouTuber doing this. And frankly, after this response, I don't think you'll ever see YouTubers doing this ever again. Because apparently, because he was shouting out this one channel out of 28 that had apparently some, like, hidden Nazi messages, uh, he's under fire. And apparently this makes him... This proves the point that he's... Quote unquote, alt right. Now, I've been watching PewDiePie for a pretty long time. Like, it's ever since he started doing those, uh, since he's done, like, uh, amnesia from the, you know, his gaming videos when he used to actually, you know, do, be a gaming channel and play games. Like, I, I've been here since pretty much the beginning of his channel. I've been watching him. For a while. Um, Now, you can't really get to know a YouTuber just through their content because it is often edited and it's often like an exaggerated version of a person. But you can pretty much get a general idea based on like the type of content they make, based on, you know, the way that they interact with their viewers, with the way they respond to things. And while... Um, 2017 wasn't necessarily Felix's best moments. It was definitely not him being a Nazi, okay? I understand that people are upset with PewDiePie for making the jokes that he made. And while they are tasteless, they were just that. They were jokes. And while you can accuse someone of being something any way you like, it doesn't disregard the fact that he's clearly not. Like, if he was truly anti-Semitic or, you know, neo-Nazi, whatever you want to call him, you would know, okay? You would know if he were a white supremacist. Just because you lean a little bit right, or even a lot of bit right, doesn't make you alt-right okay alt-right is hitler stalin uh those types of people those are alt-right peter pie while i do believe that he leans right i don't think that he is alt-right uh there are very few alt-right people just in general Especially on YouTube, like, <laughs> I, could, I couldn't name a single alt-right person on YouTube. Um, and it's absolutely ridiculous that Vox continues to try and paint PewDiePie in this manner. You love him or hate him for his content. There is no way on earth that PewDiePie is a Nazi. Like, see, here's the thing, right? Nazis don't make Nazi jokes, okay? They don't make jokes like that. They actually mean stuff like that. Uh, And there's a big difference. When you're on the internet, you're going to get jokes that are tasteless. Like, it's... But that doesn't mean that everyone on the internet is a Nazi. And to think that is... 
it it really just waters down the words that you use when you call someone a racist, when you call someone a sexist, when you call someone a you know Nazi or whatever, and you just keep throwing those words out. The more you use them, the less they mean. Like if you if you just go around calling every single person alt right or Nazi you're eventually going to make the word mean nothing. It's like, it's just the more you say something, the more you argue something, the less it starts to have a meaning. The less of a meaning it has. Racism and sexism and whateverism is a terrible thing. Yes, we all know that. But to throw them out willy-nilly just because someone might disagree with your opinions is not what you should do. That's like calling someone a bully for teasing you just once. That's not bullying. Bullying is a repeated occurrence of harassment or teasing or whatever, but it's not a one-time occurrence. It is a multiple- it's a repeated process, okay? And PewDiePie's incident was a one-time thing. I mean, there he's. I mean, there there were two things. Okay, there was the Fiverr incident, and then there was the N-word incident. Both of which might have been tasteless, and might he's already paid for that consequence. He's already paid for that. He's not getting scared PewDiePie season two. And he, you know, he did lose a lot of money because of demonetization. And he's lost, you know, his MCN. Like, he's already done the crime, or he's already done the time for the crimes that he has committed. But that doesn't make him a Nazi, or a racist, or a sexist. It just makes him human, because humans make human mistakes. Now, I'm not excusing him for his tasteless jokes that he has made in the past, but I am forgiving him. And that's what people need to learn to do. Forgive and forget. Or maybe not forget, but at least forgive and stop talking about it, okay? Just let it go. What I'm more surprised is that in this year, Logan Paul has done, both Logan Paul and Jay Paul have done worse than PewDiePie and they are left off the hook. People have literally forgotten about the Suicide Forest and he is getting his his show, The Thinning or whatever, or the movie or whatever. Like he, Logan Paul and Jay Paul barely got a scratch on the back and PewDiePie gets like a drill in the <laughs> like someone like keeps drilling a hole in his back like stop it we all know that the only reason that PewDiePie is getting these accusations thrown at him is because the media is desperate for clicks and profit they are desperate to shut down the number one influencer on the platform and he is the number one influencer on YouTube and in media in general. People listen to him. People take in what he's saying. They don't necessarily agree with everything that he says, but he is at least um, more objective in his reportings than the freaking media is. And you can see that based on the types of things that Vox does, the types of things that Vox says and claims. They are so desperate for clicks that they are destroying their own reputation. It's actually pretty sad. Like to claim to claim that Lacey Green is alt right is just utterly ridiculous. Okay, Lacey Green is literally one of the most left YouTubers I have ever seen on the platform. Um. It's just a ridiculous claim. Um, like people just keep throwing out these uh, accusations just to get 
clicks or whatever, but it's it's never true. <laughs> it's honestly just a joke. Um, it's actually kind of funny, actually, to think that some people think that way. Um, it's actually really sad because the media is just falling apart. Um, like no one takes it seriously anymore because of articles like this. Um, like <laughs> it's only a matter of time before it starts to basically die. <laughs> and uh, there's no real, there's no real surprise as to why. Uh, the more the media gets discredited and the more they put articles out like this, the more people aren't going to take them seriously anymore. Um, and the fact that YouTubers are more reliable than the media themselves is actually pretty sad. Because um, they won't let this one thing go. Um, and you know, it's, at the end of the day, it is their loss. Because they're the ones that are ruining themselves with all of these ridiculous claims and persistence on a article on a topic that has been disproven so many times already in the past in just the past year um anyways that's all I have to say about that anyways peace out guys it's been a blast